Hi everyone! Thank you for joining us for another video in our How To series. This is Valerie from Waterpress, and in this tutorial I'll walk you through the steps necessary to create and manage a WordPress menu when using a blog-based theme and a new Gutenberg navigation blog. So if you're ready, let's get started! First, it's important to note that you'll only have access to the new menu system if you're using a full-site editing theme, and for this tutorial I'm using 2023. The new full-site editor allows you to customize WordPress themes using the blog editor, and it was released in WordPress 5.9 and enables you to add different blogs to your templates to create a unique design. To add or edit your menu in the header of your website, navigate to Appearance, Editor. Then in the sidebar menu that appears, click Template Parts. After that, I'm selecting Header. To start editing the header template, you can click the pencil icon or just click the area with the menu items. The list view uh, on the left shows us all the blocks of the template, and we see that all the blocks are nested inside the container block, namely the group block. By clicking the row block, we see the navigation block. The navigation block is an advanced block that enables you to edit your site's navigation menu. The navigation block automatically includes a page list block that displays all the published pages on your site. And this default menu of the page list block is automatically updated when you publish new pages on your site. And if you'd like to edit the automatically generated menu, click on any section on the menu and then select Edit. Uh, then we see this pop-up window, uh, Edit this menu. And if you hit Edit, you'll be able to manage the menu yourself. It means we convert it to single page links. This allows us to add, reorder, uh, remove items, uh, and uh, uh, edit their labels. Great! Uh, this is exactly what we need, so we want to click Edit. Done! The navigation menu has been successfully created. After we've edited the navigation block, it won't automatically add new pages to the menu anymore. Now let's try to move the menu items. For this, select the item in the navigation block and click the Move left or right arrows on the toolbar. Moreover, the blocks can be dragged and dropped using the six dot icon. It's convenient when moving the item to more than one position to the left or right. We can also move them around with the help of the list view. To remove a menu item, Select it in the navigation block from the list view, or, like I do, click the three dots and select the Remove option. You can create submenus, also called drop down menus. First, click on the item under which you want your submenu items to appear. In the toolbar, Click on the icon that looks like three horizontal lines with a curved arrow. After that, click the Add Link option that appears. Now search for the page you want to add. Choose from any of your recently updated pages or posts. It's also possible to add a category or tag. For example, I'll go for the latest post category. Now I want to show you how to embed a custom link. First, I'm going to type in the link. Uh, you can just paste it. In my case, it will be an external link. 
Then I'm clicking the link and using the link tool that lets me edit the custom link block. You can edit the title and custom URL and decide whether you want to open the link in a new tab. Press Enter on your keyboard to add another submenu item or click anywhere outside of the submenu area if you're done editing links. To add a new parent item to the navigation block, click on the plus block inserter icon. This will allow you to search by name and select any page or post or category or tag. Otherwise, manually type or paste to add any link, including an external one, to your menu. So custom links can be parent items too. When creating a drop-down menu, there is a chance that you just want the top-level link to be text and nothing else. To do this, click the Add Block button, type the title of the link, submit, and repeat the same steps I've shown you in the chapter about the submenus. You can also add a few special blocks created to fit within the navigation block, and these include social icons block, site logo block, and search block. For example, the search block adds a search function to your website, allowing readers to easily search your site for posts, and pages you've written in the past. So uh, if you want to learn more about these blogs, uh, let us know in the comments section below. Now I want to make some edits uh, to my menu using the list view. It's very helpful. Perfect. One more thing I want to point out is that the navigation block is unique because it has two different sets of options in the sidebar, depending on what you have clicked on. As for the settings for the navigation block, uh, if taken as a whole, in the layout settings we have justification and orientation. So Justification is dependent on the type of the theme you are using, as it does not work with some themes, and the position of the menu is fixed for some themes, you know. Orientation allows uh, this menu to be either vertical or horizontal, and overlay menu, uh, here you can choose whether or not to collapse the navigation options into a menu icon, sometimes called um, a hamburger button. Uh, which opens as an overlay when clicked. And this feature can be turned off, uh, set to display on mobile devices only, or to always display, even on desktop. Submenus determines whether you want your submenus to open on click or show the arrow. Uh, moving on to the styles, uh, the color setting lets you change the colors of your text, background, uh, submenu, and overlay uh, text or background. And there are several options within typography too. The dimension settings can be used to manage the spacing in your navigation block. And as I already said, each menu item in the in your navigation block is an individual block too. And if you click on it, uh, you'll see a different set of options in the settings uh, in the right uh, sidebar. We won't stop on each option, but some of them deserve your attention, in particular description option. With its help, you add a short explanation of what your readers can expect uh, to find when you click on the link. Uh, this is good for CEO and uh, won't show in your menu, but it is useful for search engines like Google. You can set a link title attribute for each of your links. This defines extra information about your link for search engines. It won't show in the menu either. 
but some themes displayed when you hover over the menu item, so keep this in mind. As for the link rel, search engines can use this attribute to get more information about a link. So, you can play around with all the styles, settings to achieve a perfect look for your menu. For instance, the dimensions settings. Here you can click on the width option to open up additional settings for your navigation block links. And almost forgot to demonstrate one more useful theme that will definitely come in handy uh, is how to update the menu item titles. To edit a menu item, click on it and simply edit its label. And again, I need to make some extra adjustments uh, before saving my menu. So, and when everything is ready, don't forget to save your menu. Hopefully, this video has answered any questions you may have on how to use full site editing menus and the navigation block. For any clarifications, please do not hesitate to write us in the comments section. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell down below to receive a notification every time a new video is posted. I will see you next time. Bye-bye!